Hi, I'm Captain Shang, an IT professional and veteran of multiple Coursera certificates. Most of them finish in 10 days or less. Recently, I finished the Google Cybersecurity Certificate in five days. To me, Coursera education is a cheap introduction to a career that you may be considering. From data science and information technology to cybersecurity and user interface design, and a lot more for less than $50 a month. However, to get the most out of Coursera, here are some strategies you should follow. While the strategies I talk about mainly applies to the cybersecurity certificate, most of the tips should work in general to where other technical Coursera professional certificate programs. Number one, understanding how Coursera payment works. Coursera is usually organized around a certificate program, which has several courses. For example, the cybersecurity certificate from Google Coursera has eight courses total. Coursera lets you take as much time as you need on this. However, the longer you take, the more you will pay. You get seven days free trial to look at the course. At the end of the seventh day, you will be charged the program fee, which gives you the rest of the month. For cybersecurity certificate, it is $49 a month. This fee will vary depending on the exact program you're taking. You will then have the rest of the month to study. If you cannot finish by the end of the month, you are charged again and get another 30 days. This repeats until you finish all the courses and earn the certificate. So the faster you finish all courses, the less you pay. The most often asked question, do you get the certificate free if you finish it in less than seven days? The answer, it depends on the course. Coursera reserves the right to charge you one month of program fee even if you finish in seven days, but it's not always enforced. I was not charged for my five day completion of the Google cybersecurity certificate. Free is good, but 49 is not bad either. Tip number two, pre-learn before starting the lesson. I started with a few unfair advantages going into the certificate program. I'm an IT veteran, so I know about the IT related topics such as networking. I have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering with a minor in computer science from way back when, so I know a lot of the technical stuff already. I have actually worked with databases for decades and I know SQL fairly well. I've even taken a SQL course on Coursera before, around 2020. I have taken Python lessons on Coursera before, both for IT automation, a Google course, and data science, an IBM course, also around 2020. And finally, I have taken an introductory cybersecurity course back in 2020 as well. So you might say, I do know a lot of the topics already, but you can create your own unfair advantage by preloading yourself with knowledge before starting the course that you need to pay. If you relied on the course to teach you everything, then yes, you will end up taking extra time. I recommend that you go through the course descriptions and pick out the topics you don't know about. Then research if there are additional information available online. I've mentioned Python and SQL already. There are websites like Free Coder Camp that will give you a quick overview on Python and SQL for free, as well as a small exercise. What's even better, both Python and SQL have downloadable versions that you can install on your local computers. I have Windows, so a little research shows that I can install Anaconda and MySQL totally free and practice on my own PC. You will have to research your own if you have Linux or Mac OS. By preloading yourself with knowledge, when you get to the course material that you already know, you can say, cool, I know this already, and speed through the course. Strategy number three, speed and read. The video lectures in Coursera can be played back at up to two times speed. If you find the lesson a bit long, play it back at two times speed should help you speed through it quickly. Obviously, if it's too fast for you, please reduce the speed until you can listen to it carefully. I am not a native English speaker, but I have no problem understanding English at 2x. Your ability to understand fast English varies, so find your own threshold. What's even better, the spoken words are synced to the transcript just below it, so you can reinforce your learning by reading while listening to the lecture. The multimedia approach should help you retain more of what you learn. However, do not neglect note-taking. For some people, the act of writing down what you learned reinforces the learning as well. Strategy four, seek help when you need it. 
If you are unable to understand a certain topic, please engage the discussion forums. If you are struggling with a particular topic for more than 15 minutes, seek help. You'll need it, and there are many help available. There are several forums for each course, usually one per week. For each course, uh, they generally divide the progress up uh, by week one, week two, week three, and week four. So go to that forum and start asking questions. You'll find question and answer from former students, current students, and teaching assistants in those forums answering questions for everyone. Your question was probably already answered. If not, post one yourself. Often, reading what other students struggle on may give you a new perspective on your problem. Remember, it could be an error in the course material or the quiz or the lab exercise. It may not be your fault if you cannot progress. You can also use this to seek other students and form ad hoc study groups if you need further help. Strategy 5. Do all the labs and exercises. It is important to do all the labs and exercises available to you in Coursera. Do not skip over them if you are learning. If you already know the stuff, then you can probably skip them. While they don't always count toward a grade, it is good practice. And in cybersecurity, a lot of the practice that you do are about writing reports and learn specific terms and items in particular. This will also point out your weakness and uh, in particular knowledge area that you should go back to the lectures and study up. Finally, here's some quiz taking tips. At the end of each week of each course, you get a graded quiz, usually 10 to 11 questions, where you do multiple choice, but very often it will ask you to pick multiple choices. So here's some tips. Tip A, read the question carefully. If it says you should check three boxes, you should make sure you check three boxes. If you only check two, you are basically giving up points without even trying. B. Eliminate the obviously wrong choices first. In most multiple choice questions, there are four answers. One or two are obviously wrong. One is a maybe, and generally that leaves two that looks right, but only one is the real answer. Eliminating the obviously wrong ones will help you narrow down the choices toward the actual answer. C. Skip those you can answer, for now at least. Coursera graded quiz is not really timed, but you should not take more than one minute per question. Generally speaking, if you cannot at least eliminate one choice after 10 seconds, you should skip the question and go back to it later. In conclusion, Coursera courses offer an affordable way to try out a new profession and see if it really interests you. While by itself, it's probably not enough to get you a new job. It should give you some ideas on what sort of certification to seek next. As the expression goes, see how deep the rabbit hole goes. In terms of cybersecurity, there are many different sub-disciplines that one may want to specialize in, such as cyber forensics, tool automation with SQL and Python, incident response, penetration testing, and so on. Introduction to cybersecurity, such as this certificate, is just that, an introduction. A new world awaits upon your completion of your certificate. Will you be ready to meet it? Only you can answer that. I hope you enjoyed my tips. Please like and subscribe if you find it helpful, and I will see you in the next one.